Hi guys, so today is the day of the long-awaited makeup collection room tour video that I have been promising forever. Um, and I say long-awaited because I have been waiting forever to do this video just because we moved into this house back in September and I really hadn't had my makeup organized and set up the way that I really wanted it to in a way that I was happy with it until recently and we really didn't have I mean I didn't have much to show you in this room until recently either I've had some time to spend in here and put curtains up and get a little cabinet for my makeup stuff and that kind of a thing so I thought actually the other day I was spring cleaning and rearranging all my stuff so I thought it would be a perfect time to show you guys everything while it is a little bit in order in here and it's not a complete disaster area so I'm gonna get started and show you guys my makeup collection. Okay, so this is a side of the room that you guys don't really get to see. This is what I see when I'm making videos. My vanity itself over here is from Bed Bath & Beyond as well as the stool. I like it a lot but the zebra stool down there is kind of falling apart slowly but surely so eventually I'm gonna have to find a replacement and that mirror didn't come with it. That's actually from Home Goods. Um, and the little tiny mirror over here is from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. I keep most of my makeup on inside those acrylic drawers on either side of my vanity and those are from Muji and I'll provide the link to that website below if you want to check that out. I guess I'll start over here with this on this side. The top right here is probably the drawer that I use the most. This is my everyday makeup drawer and I like having everything all in one place because I can take this out and set it on my vanity if I want to. Um, I can take it to another room if we have guests, that kind of a thing. So I just find it to be really convenient and these are most of the products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have, um, I actually have my Garnier BB cream resting over here because it doesn't fit. But I've also been using my Benefit Hello Flawless powder a lot. I really like this stuff. I think it's great. I'm sure I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. I have two bronzers, my Cargo Medium Matte Bronzer and my Tarte Mineral Bronzer. I have some brow products um, shoved over here on this side and just a lot of face products. These are concealers, my Neutrogena 3-in-1 concealer, my Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. This is a clear Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara that I use for brow gel. Neutrogena Eye Brightener. This is one of my favorite primers. My NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. That's a really great primer. And Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Well Rested Loose Powder that I use to set my under eye concealer. Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I just have a Bare Minerals Blush in here too that I can't fit in my blush drawer anymore. It's getting a little getting a little crowded. The rest of this this case is mostly lip products. So in here is a lip gloss. Mostly MAC. I really like MAC. I also like Revlon, the Revlon Super Lustrous line of lip glosses and Benefit Ultra Shines as well. So I have a bunch of those. Um, Dazzle glasses, luster glasses, that kind of a thing. And sleek pout polish that I got in London. I really love this stuff. And you guys can probably tell I mostly like nude lip colors and really bright pinks and some purples. So that is all my lip. I also have NARS down here and some Smashbox ones. But it's mostly it for lip gloss and this is my lipstick drawer. Lots of MAC. I really love Revlon lip products. I think they're amazing. So I have a bunch of... This is a new lipstick that I've been loving recently. This is Fuchsia Revlon. I also have a YSL lipstick in here and NARS. I keep most of my lip liners on this side and lip tints and things like that. Eventually I'm going to have to expand on this and put my lipstick somewhere else because I'm running out of space pretty quickly but in this little canister I just have some makeup sponges and this is a picture of me and Josh this is actually when I was a redhead so that is a blast from the past probably have to update that picture pretty soon on the left in this case I have my powder blushes on top some Elle Masca this is a Lancome blush. This is Shimmer Mandarin Sky. This is one of the first blushes I ever really fell in love with. And you can see how gorgeous that color is. I love this one so much. Amazing Cosmetics. I have Benefit Coralista, a little sample. NARS Orgasm. Benefit Bella Bamba. Some MAC blushes, Smashbox. Down here, this is mostly um, MAC cream color bases and cream blushes. So I've got a couple cream color bases. Makeup Forever. HD blush. These are really a cool little product. I like these. These are my NYC blushable cream sticks and you can find those at the drugstore and they have a bunch of colors and I just really like those. Stila convertible color. 
Urban Decay Afterglow. This one I love, my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in Cabo Coral. That's a really great summer color. And down here, these are my individual eyeshadows and where I keep my quads and that kind of a thing. I really love the Maybelline Expert Wear Quads. I've done a few tutorials using those in the past. And I have some single eyeshadows as well. The Smashbox Shadows, Urban Decay. I really love this one. This is the Urban Decay Stardust Shadow in Diamond Dog. And it's so pretty. It has so much shimmer and it almost looks like it's wet. It has that glistening effect, but you get so much fallout with that eyeshadow, so it's kind of, I dread using it, but I really like it at the same time. Um, some NARS, I have my Revlon Colorstay palettes in here as well. They actually stack really nicely in this. Over here I have some palettes that I use on a daily, well not daily basis, but I use often. I have my MAC Blush palette and eyeshadow palette, and also some Sleek palettes back here. Um, my Garnier BB Cream, just some Body Butter from Pacifica. My Tarte Cheek Stain in Tipsy, which I love this product, and I have it sitting out because I've been using it so much, but also it doesn't fit in the Muji drawers, so that's one downside to those. Not every product fits in them. But on top of here, I have a little cup where I keep all my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and Shade Sticks. I really like this little cup. I'm sure I probably paid a dollar for it at the craft store or something, but I just think it's really eclectic and cool. Underneath I have my Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting. And in the center is where I keep my little collection of brushes and the container I actually keep my eye brushes in. I think that's from Michaels. It's just a very long, narrow glass container. And I really like it because it fits in that space perfectly and it doesn't take up a lot of room. I have a lot of Coastal Scents, MAC, um, Sigma, and... These are actually, this is the Teddy Bear set from Too Faced. I really like these too. They are so soft. I've been using this one, the powder brush for my, um, for my bronzer. And then in my Make Me Up set from Sigma, I just keep most of my face brushes in there for now. And I have a few Kabuki brushes just hanging out there. That is it for the top of my vanity. Underneath, I also have some brush cleaner. That's pretty much, I go through that like crazy. So pretty much always have that on hand. And... Down below, I store some more makeup and a few other things like makeup wipes. This is my eyeliner drawer, and I just took a little cardboard gift box and the lid in the bottom of it, and I just put it in here to create tiny dividers. Some MAC Fluid Line pencil sharpeners, um, gel liquid liners, my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And then I do have, this is my Duo Lash Glue. I do have a lot of Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On eyeliners in here, mascaras and eyelash curler, and my Katy Perry false lashes, which I have to use in a tutorial pretty soon. So that's it for that drawer. The next one is kind of a sad little drawer because I recently cleaned out my makeup and there's not really much left in here. These are mostly paint pots, um, my Maybelline Color Tattoo, and yeah, MAC Paint Pots, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, Stila Smudge Pot and Kitten. I just have a bunch of random ones in here. The center actually doesn't look like it would be anything, but in here I keep my makeup wipes. I find it to be a really handy little spot to keep stuff like that isn't that cute to look at, so I need to really clean that. Okay, um, these are makeup wipes, makeup removers. I just keep them stacked in under here. And then I keep these bandanas for drying my makeup brushes after I clean them. And then I have some brush rolls in here, and I usually keep them pre-packed with clean brushes, that way I can just take it, throw it in my bag whenever I'm traveling and I'm ready to go, I don't have to think about it. So over here to my cabinet, this was a recent find, I was really proud of this because I feel like it matches my decor in here fairly well. And I found this one at Home Goods. you guys can probably start to see the theme developing, I don't spend a lot of money on decor when it comes to, I don't know, decorating on a budget, I think you can really find some good stuff. This divider for my palettes, is from Target and I found that in the office supply section. I have my Naked palette from Urban Decay, some MAC palettes as well, some additional eyeshadow palettes. In here, this is kind of a miscellaneous drawer for now. I don't really know what's going on in here. I have some things that I got for my birthday this month. I'm excited to try those things out. Extra bean bag filler for my brushes. Oh yeah. Okay, that was a loud noise. And in this cabinet, I've got lots of goodies in here. This is where I keep 
the things like face products, just any random makeup really that I don't use on an everyday basis, I will just store them in here. So this side of it, I keep a lot of my face products, so I'll keep foundations that I'm just not using at the moment, but I still really like and will use eventually. So I have my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation Makeup Forever HD. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish HD Loose Powder. I have some concealers in here as well. Uh, Clinique Powder. This is a Makeup Forever HD Elixir. To be honest, I have no idea what to use that for, so let's keep it in there. And over here on this side, I have more cheek, um, cheek and face products, bronzers, highlighting products, that kind of a thing. In the back, I have bronzers. This is my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is an amazing drugstore bronzer. Laura Mercier Dune Bronze. Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights, Bare Minerals Faux Tan, this is one of my favorite bronzers to use, my Laura Mercier Shimmer Block in Peach Mosaic, you guys have seen that before, and this is a hard candy blush that doesn't really match my skin tone very well, so I just use it as a highlighter. And in the front here, I just keep products that I prefer to store standing up, my Benefit High Beam Liquid Highlighter, my NARS The Multiple in Copacabana, this is one of my all-time favorite highlighting products. And it's funny because it looks really kind of gross in the stick. But when you apply it to your cheeks, it looks really pretty. So that's it for the shelf. Down here I have some Bare Minerals products. I, in college, I was a huge fan of Bare Minerals. That's pretty much the only makeup I used for a really long time. And according to the company, they never go bad. So I just keep them down here in this little tray that I got ages ago, probably from Office Depot or something like that, a little organizer. And I keep all my eyeshadows, my cheek color. This is Tropical Radiance, a little sun. Oh, what's this one? Bisque, this is the concealer, Bare Minerals version of a concealer. I think this is the large size of Warmth. Don't really use these. I think I purchased like this color one year when I was Tinkerbell for Halloween. I don't really use it that much anymore, but... I don't know, I just haven't had the heart to toss it out, I guess. And these are jumbo end wraps from Sally Beauty that you're meant to use these when you're perming your hair, I think, but I use them as blotting papers and they work really, really well and they're so inexpensive. You get a thousand sheets for maybe like two dollars or something, if I remember correctly. So I just keep these. I store this bigger box in here. And that is pretty much it for this little beauty cabinet. Okay, so I guess I'll give you a quick look around the rest of the room. Of course, the sun decides to come out now. This is what you guys see, for the most part, in the background of my videos. And over here, I have a jewelry chest. And next to that, an old hand-me-down dresser that I painted teal. And lots of just odds and ends that I've collected over the years on this dresser. This is actually, I have a blog post about how I made that faux butterfly shadow box. So just a random assortment of objects over here and in this corner I have my matching shelves and desk set from Crate and Barrel. This is my home office space and this desk actually used to be where I would keep my makeup and then when I moved it became my computer desk. So I just have, I like this because it doesn't take up a lot of room, it's a nice little workspace kind of tucked away. Yeah, so not much to show there. I really love this plant. I picked this up at a local craft store and it works out perfectly because whenever I get a bunch of junk piled up on my desk or it starts to get messy or something and I want to film a video, the plant totally blocks the view of the clutter on my desk. So it's very strategically placed. There's a strategically placed biscuit. You just can't be mad at that face. You just can't. So anyway, that is my... Um, makeup collection room tour and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much to everybody who requested this video and I hope you guys are having a really great week and I will see you soon bye